Hello, hello. Hello, do you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Yes, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, welcome. It's a pleasure to see you. And also welcome you all to be here in this class. So tell me, how was your how was your day? Hello? Uh, how was your day? Relax. Relax. Okay, describe Hi, what do you do? Relax, relax. Okay, describe what do you do, Anna? Um today I is sleeping a lot, I think. <laughs> so my day was relaxing and I am a little angry. Thank you so much. Really. That's motivation we have. It's, it's something important that we wish we have. And also, you know, and do our best. That's one of the goals. Somebody else would like to describe about your your day. I don't know someone would like to open, you know, microphone and, and express their experiences they Someone, someone. Me, teacher. Uh, my day was relaxed. I got um, so so late. Algo late. Algo tarde. <laughs> okay, late. Okay, late. And I have a breakfast and watching a movie in the morning. And, and in the rest of the day, all day, I walking. Walking 30, 30 minutes, and I do the housework in my house. Excellent, thank you. So, you had a great time, yeah, yeah, and also because you were uh, watching a movie, so that's good. So, you yes. <laughs> enjoyed the movie. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hello, welcome. Me turn off my uh, camera because I'm working this now. Oh, you're this working. Moment. Yeah, at the moment. <laughs> wow, until what time will you be in your job? Um, yeah, because I the I don't know the street my um, clientes customers customer yes I know close my my store this the moment. Wow, so you will close your store uh, very late. Yeah, yeah, teacher. <laughs> Second story, I turn off my camera. Okay, don't worry. Thank you. It's going to be okay. very challenging, but uh, I mean, money is important and also business is important too. I agree with you. Okay, and thank you. And someone else, someone else that say hello. Oh, wow. So I know that some of our friends here are currently working at this time, eight o'clock. So it's very... You know, challenging, but at the same time, it's very responsible that uh, besides they are working, they join us here in the class, and that's good. We are multitasking. Okay, so let's just start the class this day. And also, it's a pleasure to, you know, well, get the opportunity to go back with your class. I remember that we were yesterday discussing a little bit about a, a, an important topic. And imagine suddenly it's almost the time. So, you know, the time goes so fast every day. And some people criticize that on vacations, when you are on vacations, the time goes so fast <laughs> and we need more days. But anyway, okay. So with the motivation and encouragement to start this class, let's begin. And before that, I, I will present the next topic for this class. I just want to ask you, what do you remember we studied yesterday? Give me a feedback. Imagine that I am like, oh, I forgot what we did yesterday. Can you help me to remember what we studied or what we did?
Okay. I I studied job profile. Okay, and what we discussed? What did you? What we discussed uh, yesterday? Oh, uh, the personality the, types. The rings. What job. kind of thing we can do? Or why are the uh, and why kind we are good or why kind of thing we can do if you have some experience? Yes, that's right. So we were discussing about jobs and also something important about qualities. It's necessary to and we talk about qualities. It's some of us, we have some skills, specifically for um, for some type of jobs that we need to be very skillful to get some kind of jobs. For example, if you're good for math, if you're good for numbers, if you're good for communication. So we can discuss about these topics. Well, let's start with this uh, part of the topic here. Like in every class, we have the opportunity to, you know, to, to do our best here in the class. Let me show you the main point of this. Okay, the topic today, it's a very easy. We're talking about closes with because. Um, well, let's analyze the following topic. What is the meaning about closes? Closes in English is similar to say sentences. In in English, when we are saying something and we are expressing some things, we form some sentences or statements. Closes are when we combine two ideas in one sentence. In that case, we use because. And I will explain you by this way. Look at that. Okay, can you see the, can you see where it says grammar focused? Can you see this? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, teacher. It's actually pretty easy. It's very, very easy. I, we don't have to lose with that. one. I just see it and I say, well, it's pretty easy for you. Okay, closes with because. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dina Elizabeth, hello. Dina? Uh, we don't listen. Uh, uh, Dina? I think she has some problems with the microphone because we, we cannot listen to you. Uh, we, we don't listen. Hello? Uh, no, Dina, we don't, we don't listen. Check the, uh, the microphone. No. No, we don't, we don't listen. Okay, perhaps the microphone is like not working right away. Okay, let's see. Andrea Geraldina, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, so would you do me a favor to read the information about the grammar focus, specifically okay. this part? Okay, uh, grammar focus, class, clay, what the pronunciation? Closes, closes. Closes, with because. Because introduce a cause of reason. I make a good journalist because I love writing. I would want to be a teacher because I I'm too in I impatient impatient. Uh, I could be a teacher because I'm very cre creative. I could never be a talk broker because I'm not good at making decisions quickly. Only that. 
Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, um, that's okay. So we can see that the per the purpose of all because is to to give a cause or a reason. Cause or reasons. When we say something, when we say something in English, and we explain somebody something specifically, we will use the clause with because. Look at the following examples that, that she has read. Like, I'll make a good journalist because I love writing. So I love, it's like, I would make a good journalist. And then we have would. The auxiliary would, but in this case in negative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm too impatient or because it's complicated to me. So there are some jobs that you are not like very skillful. For example, you could say, I could say, um, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't want to be a doctor because I'm not so good watching blood. <laughs> that could be one example. And you give a reason or something that you could do or you cannot do. Um, I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. So you have an idea about it. Uh, <laughs> that's the way. And uh, I could never be a stock broker, stock broker because I'm not good at making decisions quickly. Um, a stock broker, it's a person who works with some valuable amount of money or sales or goods in a company. Uh, so we could say it's we could say in Spanish like, um, have you heard about la bolsa de valores? Eh, corredor de bol corredor de valores. Oh, that's the name of stock broker. This is for a great company. Wall Street. What? Wall Street. Stock broker. Is yeah. yeah. It's uh, like a broker who buys and sells securities on a stock exchange on behalf of clients, especially in companies, people do that. Um, that is a stock broker. And, you know, the people, they try to invest, negotiate with uh, providers, negotiate with clients, with vendors to get and sell good products. And you can see the close because the purpose is to know about it's something that you can do and something that you cannot do. So for that reason, I want you to check the following statements, two parts of the sentences, and you say, I want to want to be an accountant. The pronunciation is accountant. Say with me, accountant. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. For example, uh, when we are pronouncing some words um, in English, for example, 10, it's not pronounced like accountant. No. It is accountant. Account. Mm. It's like accountant. It's, it's, it's for example the 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 word cotton. Eh, cuando va el ton, la pronunciación ya no va a ser cotton, no, sino que ese ton es como que pronunciáramos eh, así, como que pronunciamos cotton, 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 Come. Otra palabra que tiene esta pronunciación es, por ejemplo, cotton y la palabra curtain. 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 Por ejemplo, esta, esta palabra, por ejemplo, mountain. montaña. La gente dice mountain, mountain. y no se pronuncia mountain. mountain. Se pronuncia Mount, mountain, 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 
What? Uh, and number five, attendant. Ah, flight attendant. Flight attendant. Well, it's igual, it's similar. Uh, yeah, but in this case, it's flight attendant. Then. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Teacher. Usted, cuando usted diga montaña, ya no va a decir mountain, sino que es mountain. 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 En el inglés americano. Mountain. 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 Yes. <laughs> sure. That's my mm. the, the, the pronouns of mount, mountain, 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 Inglés americano, eh, inglés americano, pues usted va a escuchar la pronunciación mountain. Eh, es muy importante. Voy a ver si encuentro ahí este, este video les va a servir porque también tenemos que aprender a pronunciar bien las palabras. Eh, permítanme. Uh, there is a video that can help you to pronounce the words properly. And um, let me look for it because that can help you to pronounce properly the words. One of the personal requirements is like helping students to pronounce properly vocabulary in English. That's something that I can I can help you with that. So, well, meanwhile, after we finish the class, I will share with you this link so you can watch the video and also you can check how the words are pronounced and that can help us to maximize your English skills. Okay, so what I want you to do right away is to take a short time to complete the sentences in column A with the appropriate information. And um, look at that. And so you can see, for example, per A and B. I wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be an accountant. 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 I, I like to be a novelist. I could, I could never be a nurse. I would make that waiter. Waiter. I could be a flight attendant because I don't like the hospitals, because I really like traveling, because I'm very forgetful, because I'm terrible at math, because I'm very creative. So you can see that creative. Creative. Okay, so I will just give you some time to match the words that you consider the, the, the part A with part B, match to make one statement using the appropriate context. So take a short time to do that, and then we will uh, socialize some answers together. Let's go. Creo que ya hizo. Uh, let me tell you that uh, maybe you will listen like a, a, a little noise because near my my house in the neighborhood, there will be a concert. So for that reason, um, I don't know if the environment will be a little bit noisy. Is uh, There is a stadium here, near here, and there will be a Salvadorian uh, or orchestra and they will be playing. So I don't know, it's going to be noisy, but I, I, I alert you about what is going to happen. Um, I don't know if you have heard about a group called Los Hermanos Flores or something like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, check the answers uh, from one. And number one? I wouldn't want to be a clown. I wouldn't want to because be a Because I am terrible at math. Because I am terrible at math. Math. Okay. 
I like to be a novelist, yes. Yes, yes because I'm very clear. Yes, um, number four, I will make a better way to. Clear, she. I will make a better way to. I'm very forgetful. Forgetful. Forget I Wow, definitely that there are great jobs and um, for example, traveling will be something important, right? You know, travel, but I mean, people, people could be uh, very good at communicating and also speak more than two languages, like English at least, Spanish, English, and perhaps French or some other languages. So that's okay, that is one of the ways. Some of us, we are thinking about some jobs that we can you know, think of, and also some jobs that we have some special qualities. I'm pretty sure that, that you are very talented in some specific uh, jobs. Look at that. Next activity. Okay, check this part here. What I want you to do is to check the following statements. And also, uh, we had to select the best choice between um, because or because of. So check that one, please. And you had to select uh, because or because of. So I will give you some seconds, well, some time to do that. And then we will socialize together the answers. Let's go. Remember to have the microphone off if we are not participating. Thank you. Me teacher. I can hear you because I want to tell you. Okay, so complete it and then we will share together the answers. Oh, okay.
Okay, are you ready? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. yes, teacher. Okay, let me check the presentation right now. Okay, number one. I came because I want to talk to you. Because I can hear because I want to talk to you. Number two. Because I play because of the traffic. The traffic. Excellent. Number three. She got the grade because she had worked hard. Number four. Paul had a terrible accident because he was, because he was driving fast. He was driving fast. Number five. He called he him he because of his old age. Because of. Number six. Leila left early because she was tired. Number seven. The meeting, the meeting was postponed because of the bad weather. Postponed. Number A. They were looking for a Japanese restaurant because they want to eat sushi or for dinner. For dinner. For dinner. They want to eat sushi for dinner. Number nine. Number nine. They are new friends. They are still well because of its poor quality. Poor quality. No, because of. I think that there is not because of. It's just because. Their new product didn't sell well because of. It's the quality. Quality. Thank. Number ten. I can't even the mirroring. I was very ill. Okay, that's great. You can check that. Okay, let's switch to the next exercise. Just give me one second.
Please, the microphone. Oh. Sorry, teacher. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, look at this one. It says, think about your personal qualities and skills. Sorry, Into teacher. Yes? Excuse me. Sorry. No. Are, are you saying something? It's me, Anna. <laughs> Sorry, I need to... I don't understand. I... What happened? No, sorry. What, what happened? Did you listen to me? Oh, in this moment, yes. Can you hear me? Yes? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I need to uh, tell you for someone. Can you explain me when we can use because of and because? Um, it's about a context. I mean, it's 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 not a big deal. For example, we use uh because when we give a reason, but when we use because of, that means that we are talking about something specifically. I mean. When, when there is a cause and effect, for example, there is a situation, this happened because of this. So you're giving a reason about a situation. And also we, we use because in general to give a reason. That's the only difference. Uh, okay. For, but... example, for example, number two, I'm sorry, I'm late. Uh, and why you're late, the cost and what is the effect. Perfect. The yes, traffic. because of yes. the traffic. And for example, I came here, the number one is I came here because I want to talk to you. I mean... Yes, but... Sorry, teacher, sorry. Uh, I don't know if I the only... I didn't understand, but I need to... <laughs> I need to do this answer. Uh, we have something specific when we use because or because of. For example, because can be uh, after the subject or after to the another articles, something like that. Well, I will explain you in a briefly way. So, and when we're talking about because, I mean, the context is telling us when we use it. I mean, el because is un poquito más general. Vine aquí porque quiero hablar contigo. Entonces, no hay ningún efecto de nada. O sea, yo vine eh, como una razón, right? Pero en ese caso, la número dice, I'm sorry, I'm late. Lo siento, vengo tarde porque el tráfico. Entonces, eh, ese off me dice a mí a causa de. Entonces, en, la, en el otro solo es porque. Eh, esa es yeah. parte de la diferencia. Yeah. Ese off sure. tiene que sumarlo en, su, eh, en, la, en la interpretación. Teacher. Sure. In this case, uh, because uh, because of is uh, when you say the traffic, the traffic is is the noun. Um, not necessarily because in that case you can see the example number two. I'm sorry, I'm late because of. So um, you are giving an idea that the next word is a noun. The traffic is the noun. We have the article D. Yeah. The definite article D, and then we have a traffic. But okay. and also you can see the next, the number nine. The and number the, nine. Number nine. I brother. for me is just because. Yes, for me, yes. Because there because. is a it uh, like a pronoun. It's a possessive. For, it's a possessive. It's a possessive. Oh, pronoun. it's a possessive because pronoun. Of oh, okay. A causa yes. de Pobre yeah, yeah quality, quality. Eh, okay. Su nuevo producto okay. no se vendió bien porque su 
propio, su pobre calidad. O Por en culpa este de caso, su pobre calidad, ya. Because of sería como a causa de. Ajá, eh, sí. la, la, la interpretación sería a causa de su pobre calidad. Entonces uh -huh. yo dijera, yeah. eh, su nuevo producto... I was confused. I, I yes, was confused with too. it, but it, yes. it, it is it's possessive now. It's, it's, it's right. Yes. Thank you, yeah. Tisha. Yes. It's a... Mm -hmm. En este caso, pues, eh, también el contexto nos indica a causa, y cuando lleve el off, tenemos que decir a causa de. Entonces, ahí cambia el, el contexto. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ¿cómo identificarlo? También el contexto nos indica cuándo usar por qué o a causa de. That's, uh, that's the context. Yes. Uh, more questions? No? No, teacher. Y Lara, el ejemplo que puso el teacher de que que iba a hablar con ella, pero no especificaba el por qué. Y si usted dice que va a hablar con ella por, por algún trámite, por cualquier cosa, está especificando. Ahí sí sería because of. Es que, eh, es que, vaya, el because of para nosotros la traducción sería a causa de. Entonces tiene que sonar ese because of. Entonces, eh, si yo quiero decir, por ejemplo, independientemente, una oración, eh, yo solo voy a necesitar la palabra because, que va a significar para nosotros, ¿por qué? Entonces, eh, eh, también because of significa debido a. Entonces, ese sería a causa de, debido a, con motivo de. En cambio, because solo es por qué. Entonces, eh, es fácil identificarlo porque el contexto nos indica de qué manera lo vamos a utilizar. O sea, que el because es como una respuesta corta. Exacto. ¿Por qué? Es específico. ¿Por qué? Porque quiero, ah. porque uh -huh. ella tenía que trabajar, porque yo estaba conduciendo. Pero cuando ya usamos sí. el because of, ya se convierte en como a causa de... de una explicación más larga. Exactamente. A esto se le llama como un tipo de... Es un tipo de preposition. ¿Verdad? Entonces... Esa sería como la diferencia. El contexto nos indica cuál usarlo. Okay. Por ejemplo, eh, vemos la 7. The meeting was postponed because of the bad weather. La reunión se fue cancelada a causa del mal clima. Entonces, ahí pues because of nos explica de por qué fue cancelada. No solo fue cancelada eh, because of the bad weather. So we can use uh, the context. En, en un real conversation, en un real conversation, pues las personas lo pueden utilizar sin ningún problema. Both could be understandable. Yes, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Okay, let's go with the next one. Um, and also we have the following exercise here. Look at this. Um, think about your personal qualities and skills. Then complete these statements and take turns discussing them with your group. I could never be a householder because I'm not good, you know, climbing the mountains. Or I would never be an accountant because I'm not good for numbers. Or I wouldn't mind working as a flight attendant because I don't like to be on the haze. Or I wouldn't mind uh, working as a as a bartender because I'm not good for drinks or oh, I'll make a good uh, I'm, I will make a good work um, or oh, a good teacher's job because I'm good explaining the class or well, I'm good exposing a topic so you can like discuss about that so that's what we had to do right away we had to think about some things that we are good at and things that we are not good at. And we will discuss with our partners about it. And that's what we talk about. We talk about personal qualities and skills. 
So I want you to think about um, some statements about what would you, what do you think you could be and what things do you consider you won't be? So that's what we had to do. So I want you to make at least three or four statements and positive and three, four statements negative. So I want you to do that. And after that, we will take a short time to socialize or its qualities and skills in some specific jobs in groups. So I want you to think about that as like the examples that I told you before. Okay, so in that case, pues quiero que piensen en, ya sea en tres trabajos que usted podría ser bueno y tres trabajos que usted considera que no podría ser bueno. Y luego, con eso que tiene, vamos a compartirlo en los grupos. Por ejemplo, alguien me dice, um, podría ser un, ¿qué? ¿Podría ser un abogado? Pues uh, yo creo que sí, o yo creo que no, porque me cuesta hablar en público. ¿O podría ser un maestro? Pues creo que no, porque no tengo mucha paciencia. Entonces, usted va a pensar en tres habilidades que usted podría tener en tres trabajos y tres pues que usted dice, no, es mentira, no voy a poder. Va a utilizar el contexto. I could never be a because, and you say the reasons why. I wouldn't mind working as. No me imaginaría trabajar como, esa sería la número dos. Cuando yo digo, I wouldn't mind working as. Uh, no me imaginaría trabajar como un mechanic because I, I'm not very skillful with my hands. O I'll make a good impression as a teacher because I'm good explaining some topics. So I want you to think about these statements, three positive and also three negative. And after that, we will socialize them in small groups. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Wow. Yes, teacher. You know what? I'm, I'm really surprised because of the time. The time has gone so fast. Uh, being honest with you, I thought it was like 8.30, 8.25. So it's, I'm surprised. The time has actually has gone so fast. Meanwhile, you do that one. We will uh, check the attendance list. Luckily that I checked the time. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's check the attendance list. Okay, let's see the first one. In, uh, Jose Ale uh, Alejandro Jose Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Present teacher. And what about Andrea Geladina Sanchez? Fresinos. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Um, Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva Present teacher Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves Present teacher uh, Boris Martin Salinas Quintanilla Present teacher Thanks uh, Brian Isaac Escamilla Hernández Carlos José Asensio Martínez Present teacher um, Denis Isaías Gómez Rodas. Um, Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Elba uh, Carolina Vázquez Flores. Present teacher. Um, Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Present teacher. Uh, Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Present teacher. Uh, Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Iris. Yeah, she was there. Okay. Uh, Jaime Rolando Escalante. Present teacher. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you. He's here. Yes, I know. Thank you. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. 
Present teacher. Um, Jessica Janet Sánchez. Present teacher. Uh, Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. Katia. Eh, María Lucila Soto. María Lucila Soto. Eh, Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Present teacher. Eh, Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Armando Cruz Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez Silva. Present teacher. Present teacher. Eh, Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Eh, eh, Vidal Evelio Mejía García. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Wendy eh, Abigail Rivera de Escamilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Wilfredo Mendoza, it's not here. Okay, so, sure. in, uh, hello? I am Katia, I don't, I don't hear my uh, name, teacher. Katia, okay. Okay, updated. Present teacher. Yes, it's updated. All right, so, vamos a formar los equipos y brevemente, pues, usted comenta qué habilidades tiene para ciertos trabajos y cuáles no. Así que vamos a formar los breakout rooms as fast as we can. Y, y pues concluimos, ok, so you have four minutes for this, así que vamos entrando a los grupos y compartimos. Bartender, because I love sleep and, <laughs> and I don't see me I make a lot of drinkings and stand up all the night. So I never, I could never be a tender, a bartender. Also, um, I never, I could never be a taxi driver because I hate the traffic and I hate driving. So I never be uh, thinking be a uh, taxi driver. In the last, uh, I could never be a cloud, a cloud because I can't even make a joke. So, and I hate the clouds. I think that I'm very bad person. I don't know why. Um, I, I will make a, a good teacher because I like teach and I have a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of, 
uh, consideration and I am patient with the children, same with the people. Mm, also, I would make a good doctor because I want I I like to help to the people and I am patient for to listen that the problem that the people have. And I think I think that if I I am not the teacher and a doctor, I would make a good dancer because I like to dance a lot of kinds of music. And I really enjoy to do these three words. I need that. The next. In my case, I, I will never be a nurse because I then like the hospital. I wouldn't mind working as a lawyer because I don't like to talk in public. Hay que cantarle al teacher cada vez que regresemos. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? Ah, <ríe> Hay que alegrarle siempre que entremos. <ríe> Thank you. Thank you, Francisco. In English. Okay. So, yeah, in English, of course. <ríe> okay, guys. Well, time is up. And, well, the time has gone so fast. I really appreciate it. So, I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for the practice and continue doing the best. Congratulations. Bye bye. Good day. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.